welcome back everybody to L.A. Noir. We are on part 21, and as you can tell, we are on the case of the Black Caesar, or Caesar, 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 Caesar. Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did oh, I yeah. ask your opinion, it's detective? That guy again. Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it! Oh, dang. Yes, sir. Why don't I have to be stuck with him? He's a dick. He slapped that one lady. You and the she lieutenant have some slap. history? You could say that. We used to be partners. Oh. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole. I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked mm. what you personally felt. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? Oh, damn. The Why lieutenant seems ask? to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. Ooh. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. Let's rouse some hop heads. Okay. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No, my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a Nash if you're in Vice Cold. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Any is the vicinity, officer needs assistance. 1825 North Highland Avenue, 1825 North Highland Avenue. Unit to have a code to identify. Officer, we handle it. <laughs> All right. That was okay. Music playing now is all I got. Who in God's name would eat at that hobble? Sunset Strip, the Golden Boy. I like this one better. Shithole for our first date. I've got friends that work. It's up the stairs, detectives. Around the corner, last door on the left. Thank you, good sir. I'm all done. Just want a quick look is all. Your show now. Thank you. And if I sound or act a little tired, it's because I just got done working out. So. Carruthers. Phelps. I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs. Overdosed. Been dead a couple of days. Whew. Government issue morphine. We use the same syrettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. Talk about it like it's a system. It was a system, but those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do, but we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? 
see it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this today, preferably? <clears throat> Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. Caesar. No cooking or preparation. Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. Yeah. you out for combat trouble. Two of them will stop your heart. Three. Looks like it was always going to end this way. They say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. JJ. And why do these two care about his taste in music? Is there anything else I can check? No. He had it on this arm also? Caesar. <clears throat> Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. Damn, no, no. 
Small chance in life is probably better than no chance. The Emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. That's what I think I've seen it all. Okay, so I found every clue I believe. We just need to go across the street now. What more do you want me to tell you? I haven't seen the bodies. Let's see what Roy has to say about this. Help me out. The Emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. See, right. Look. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. That's that cop. Yeah. Seems like a decent guy. Here. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. And he's running. Get that son of a bitch. The wrong cop, you fucking. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Hmm. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Oh, shh. by the issuer. Uh -oh. 
These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. No shh. Incidental. Sure, it's satisfying. Warning, maybe have it for me. That guy from the paper. There's still something. I can look at, or is it just, nope, it's just the morphine. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit more of a look around. Unless if, like, because it keeps, unless if I can investigate this even further. Not a loss. Get the kid's story. He's a small fry, but he could give us someone bigger. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. Ooh, hi. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supply them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? I could. Strange doodle, popcorn, cup of morphine. We're usually should know the rest of the blue room. Should I? I don't know which one to use, though. Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. Okay. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? Hmm. That's illegal gambling. Cut the jive, Fleetwood. You're running your own numbers racket from this food stand. 
You got the tickets, but you got nothing else. Now, how you gonna prove that I run a lottery? Damn. Damn. I'll let you in on something. The numbers is ran by white people, Italians, and those Jewish motherfuckers, not black musicians in 50 cent shoes. See you at the station, Fleetwood. You're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. And we always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. Well, crap. How many questions did I get right? It's a joke. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, Detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks, ma'am. The cop from the newspaper. Okay. So I'm this here? No, we still got a little bit of time to go. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. The name's Merlin Odie. I run a strictly legitimate bookmaker's detective. So that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running? And the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you. I'll pay my kick to the Watts, and they pay their cut to the LAPD. You can't go shaking me down. You're a loudmouth motherfucker, aren't you? Anyone ever tell you that criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? Stay where you are while we look around. Yes, sir. Oh. 
hold. trafficking charge. Thanks for the paper trail, Merlin. Yes, sir. That worked well, beautifully. Well, that's quite a win for a dime, Merlin. You better God start talking. God damn it. Get after him, Phelps. Give it up, Adi. Why is it always me? Why can't, like, Roy run after him or something? You gotta do it. He's old, so he's a little bit slower than me. But of course, like when he looks back and sees, him, oh hey, I'm, like rushing. I was here earlier. Right, relax, motherfucker, you got me. Nice wand, Merlin. Too bad you couldn't pull off your vanishing act. <laughs> Make your joke, smart guy, but don't damage that. That there's a valuable antique. You don't say. Maybe you ought to have a look at this, Cole. Adi has Jose Ramez in his pocket. Ramez must have forgotten his lucky numbers. Oh. Uh oh. Would you like to calculate the odds on you going to prison for a very long time, Merlin? I'm not going nowhere. I paid my contributions, and I'm not getting hustled by you. We're only interested in morphine. Army surplus morphine. What do you have to say about that? I heard about that. Big robbery on the ship. Ain't my line of work. I prefer something with a sporting outcome. Bullshit. Distribute for the Jews. You're a patsy. I don't know what you're talking about. I distribute for the LAPD, motherfucker. Huh. If you don't ask, you never find out. Very cute. Out. You can be in the spotlight for this, or just a bit part player that the DA hopefully overlooks. How do you want it to play out? Vain sincerity. I like it. You should move into politics. That shuck of yours will go a long way. <clears throat> Ramez seems to owe you a lot of money. We all owe somebody. This is true. So it has nothing to do with the proceeds of the morphine shipment? It's a gambling debt. The heaps took over the wise service and screwed me. Now I just do what I'm told. Run numbers and ship dope. 
Jose's no different. He just thinks he's the big man that can run up tabs. All right. You're not the guy we want, Merlin. But we're taking you in. Maybe some time in a cell will help you remember something worthwhile. Fuck you, and fuck you. You'll never put a charge on me. You ran. Take this bum in. Take the long way around. And don't be gentle with him. You got that? Yes, sir. All right, so we are at that 30 minute mark and we will end it here. And I will catch you guys in part 21 of Ellie Noir. Peace.